Hi, beautiful souls. It's a delightful day here. Sun's out. Glorious. Beautiful sunshine. Plenty of action from the skylarks. The sounds. Charming. Soul expansion. Heart expansion. Is there anything better than sitting in nature? Resting in the stillness. Observing everything that's around us. In the space of awareness. And this is, this is how we can live our days. We don't have to just do it when we're sitting in the field surrounded in the beauty of nature, we can actually do this throughout our whole day. It's like anything, practice, you become masterful at it. If you want to have a happy life, a joyful life, a life of meaning and wonderment and flourishing, then you can. It's really very simple. Everything is actually incredibly simple. There's simplicity to everything, but it involves your participation. And most people choose not to participate in life. They keep their blinkers on, their head in the sand, allowing themselves to be corralled by authorities, institutions, and constructs that only serve to create fear within individuals. When you're a free being, a sovereign being, and you're living as your authentic self, your awareness expands way beyond all of that. You see the truth of what's going on. You can't possibly see the truth if you're not fully engaged in your life. It's very easy to manage people that are in fear and distracted by materialism, the need to buy things, the need to consume at all costs. People that are so caught up in the drama of their pettiness. People like that are very easy to control. Governments, authorities, they know that big institutions, big corporations, they know that. An empowered individual is very different. And an empowered individual actually has an enormous amount of power to be able to influence thousands upon thousands, just from their presence on this planet. Just by walking the path of integrity and discernment and love, being fully aware of what is for them, what is not for them, and being so intrinsically aware and wise and compassionate and discerning that they address everything as and when it comes up. Nothing passes them by. Nothing. They do not agree with people if they do not agree. They do not pretend to be something that they are not. They show themselves for who they are. They reveal themselves. This is who I am. This is what I believe in. This is what I stand for. These are my values. We can all live happy, joyful lives. We live happy, joyful lives when we do what is meaningful for us. When we're in alignment with the things that matter in our lives. And when we know why that is. Why do I do this? Why, why am I so interested in this? What's my motivation? I suggest that the most people that aren't happy is because they're not doing what they love, but they don't have the inquiring mind to 
to investigate that because they're so distracted and so with their head in the sand and their blinkers on. And many of those beings are relatives of ours, friends of ours, maybe not close friends of ours, maybe more distant friends of ours. As we expand and grow, you tend not to remain with people that are that heavy, that dense, in the quagmire of their own making. I've been in a, a ditch before a few times and one of the things that I noticed on those occasions was why won't people help me? Something that I said to myself at that time, why, why can't I get any help, blah blah blah. And it's interesting this because often we expect others to help us but what about us helping ourselves? What about we actually make the first step? or reach out and ask for help. Because you know, I never reached out and asked for help. I just expected somebody to come along and wave a magic wand and make everything better for me. Of course, that's not how it happens. We have to participate. We have to participate in our life. We have to be active, actively participating. That doesn't mean that you can't reside in stillness, in presence, and be fully aware and awake as you move through your world but you must be active and you must participate. If you see something and it's not in agreement with you and you have the ability to do something about it, to make a change, then you do it because that's your calling. In that divine moment, that is your calling. You can't go, oh, somebody else will do, deal with it and pass it on. You have to be active. When you're open and active to living life with an open loving heart, then you open yourself up to other people and other experiences that match that. And it's wondrous. And it just makes you more happy and joyful. And I feel that the more happy and joyful people will be, the more likely that they will wish to make others happy and joyful and then the animals happy and joyful and then the soil and the plants and the life and the nature happy and joyful. It's about connection because we are all one and we are all interconnected but those that have stepped away from their essence they lose that connection with themselves and if they lose that connection with their essence how can they possibly be engaged and care about the planet and the nature and the animals and all life. Every day is an opportunity for you to move gracefully and easily, embracing each perfect moment as it arises. Make each precious moment count. Revere your life. Revere the opportunities that present themselves in each perfect moment and embrace them and then participate in them so that you don't have regrets so that when it comes to the end of the day you lay your head on a pillow and you drift off into dream time you feel relaxed peaceful knowing that you did your bit knowing that you participated that you made your life count that you stood up and were seen. And when you do this, you'll be surprised at how many beings will assist you. Right now I'm sitting in this field and I'm surrounded by a field of light emanations, of masters, angels, galactics. And they're all here just to enjoy being with me, listening out for my asking, listening out for my appreciation, supporting that that I'm up to, that that I'm creating. And they're so beautiful, so, so very beautiful. And the more you call upon 
for your divine entourage to assist you, the more you feel so supported and so loved. You just realize everything is just working out perfectly and beautifully, unfolding and unravelingly, unraveling in a way that is truly uplifting. I wish you a beautiful day and I wish you the ability to realize all that you are. I wish you the, the wisdom to realize all that you are. I wish you the heart expansion to realize all that you are. And I wish you the courage to let go of that that no longer serves you. Do not cling to people, things, places, experiences, ideas, because you think that you'll feel less than. Do not hold on to anything if it is for a reason that lacks integrity. Be very aware of your integrity, your discernment and your moral compass. Set yourself free, liberate yourself and live in joy and harmony with the world around you. In peacefulness, with grace, with ease. Live happy days, joyful days. Days that uplift and serve as one. For we are one. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy the sun. Enjoy the nature. And enjoy being you. Enjoy your own unite, unique light signature. Enjoy it. Express it. Share it. Rejoice in everything that you are. Embrace all that you are. My name is Zaza. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share. Thank you.